Welcome back, you crazy gun nuts. Today we're right here at the Sportsman's Club. We've got the 45 ECP Strabog. Gotten this back from Global Ordnance. They had it for about a month, a little over. And it says on the notes that they cleaned it, lubed it, and verified that it shot. So I don't think they did anything to it other than shoot it. Uh, I got it back day before yesterday. And yesterday I brought it out to shoot it. And I had the exact same issue with the factory clear 45 magazines that's shipped with the Strybog. Comes with three of them, they're all garbage. Uh, yesterday and today I've shot already using the mags global ordnance sells aftermarket. It looks to me like these are the exact same mags that LWRCI sells with their uh, SMG 45. So I bought two of these. And these here have run flawless so far. I've not had one single issue even with hollow points shooting these magazines they're about 50 a piece uh shipped so i'm gonna pick up more of these and just scrap the other mags or use those for malfunction practice because the factory magazines that global or uh, sorry not global ordinance but uh, grand power makes are dog shit let's go ahead and run the rest of these rounds through it i've already got a uh, zero verified i'll show you that she does run All right, ran all those. There was 25 rounds in that mag. Those were uh, 230, or sorry, 200 grain uh, berries ball ammo. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the camera off and reload some more mags. And I think today we're only gonna test with the Global Ordnance 25 round magazines because the, like I said, the Strybog magazines that ship from Grand Power are garbage. And I got this mag loaded up with the uh, 230 grain berries hybrid hollow points. I've got the other magazine that I bought separately. That's loaded up with 230 grain, or sorry, these are 185 grain uh, Horn of the XTPs. I believe there's 25 rounds in each mag. And we'll go ahead and run both of these back to back and see how they cycle. Yep, ran every one of those, no problems at all. Uh, before I could barely get through a full mag like I don't think I did get through a full mag of the uh, hollow points with the factory Strabog mags again these are 195 grain XTPs go ahead and run those magic bolt went home as soon as I put the mag in so maybe that's a feature yep <laughs> ran every one of them too so, so far I've ran about, fuck, I think I've, between yesterday shooting it and today shooting it, I think I've reloaded these mags like three or four times each. So that's either 75 or 100 rounds out of each mag without one single malfunction. Uh, if I were to compare that to what I was getting with the factory magazines, it was way less. So. I was having sometimes two to three malfunctions per magazine with hollow points. It would occasionally run ball. Uh, I've already ran about 50 rounds so far of the two different types of hollow points this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and load this up with uh, some 200 grain berries ball ammo. And we will uh, continue shooting with these magazines because I don't even wanna try the other ones because I already know they malfunction a lot. And there's no sense we even it trying because i know they're garbage just yeah we'll talk about that later all right before we start shooting again i'll just go over what i got on this dry bug this is the way i want it set up except i think i'm going to bring this flashlight back some so this will fit in a backpack a little easier uh, i just put it out there just to see if i liked it it's okay i got the button on the top here you see it's it does work uh sometimes i kill these for whatever reason they'll get hit in my bags but I'll probably leave the touch pad on it since I don't have much room over here to put the uh, light over here like I usually like to run them on a longer gun. I do have a sling swivel right here. This also came with a sling swivel for the stock adapter. I do have a Ergo vertical foregrip. 
I've got the EOTech uh, XPS 3.0 and I've got the Unity riser on it. And I am running the Griffin Armament uh, Bushwhacker 46. I'm using their uh, QD mount. It's the uh, cam lock. Seems to work really good. Doesn't come loose. That can's still warm. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much factory. I didn't care for the brace that was on it. So I did get the, uh, well, I got the NR, or NRA, the NFA engraving on this side over here. Don't really want to show all my information. But now we're loaded up with 200 grain berries. I got two mags of this in the, uh, again, Global Ordinances branded magazines. We'll shoot these, see how it runs these 50, and I'm probably going to call it a day because I think I probably got 700 rounds through this already. Since I've gotten it back, I know I've put at least 300 rounds through it. This should make about 300 rounds. Uh, if it runs these just fine, I'm going to say this is good. Like, I'm not even going to use those other mags anymore. I'm just going to buy more of these. And uh, if, well, well, we'll see how this runs. Instead of me saying what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and smack it in there to see if it runs the bolt home again. Oh, didn't do it that time. That choked right there a little bit. Go ahead and, all right. I had one, one other round of the same thing to me. I'm wondering if it doesn't like loading off of a full mag. They may need to download it. I know some mags don't like loading with a full capacity. I'll probably put 24 in the next one. The next one, I'll just pull one round out and we'll see if it does the same thing. All right, let's go ahead and run it. Yep, ran every one of those. Uh, that one's full, you can see right there. It's all the way down to the bottom. Pull one round out. See if we have issues getting it to uh, run home. Yeah, for whatever reason, that first one doesn't want to go home. It could be dirty. I know running these suppressed, it gets extremely dirty, extremely fast. Uh, nothing we can do about that because it's just the nature of the beast it's going to have naturally more blowback but shooting this with these 200 grain bullets in the, in the 230 was extremely quiet the 185 grains they were supersonic because even out of a glock handgun they're supersonic uh, so they're probably a bit faster out of this so they did have a crack these here are quite a bit more quiet and it's actually a very quiet package it's not movie quiet but it's definitely hearing safe and you can shoot this all day long without any ears i think it'd be fine but again that's it all depends on the person and what they want to do it's one thing you love about this country it's a free country we can do what we want for the most part ran every one of those too that's still got some uh, lube on it you can see up here on the top i'm guessing a lot of the lube i put on the bolt has it's actually still running pretty smooth so it might not be that dirty uh so like i said i'm guessing that's it at least 700 rounds i got through this the last 300 have been trouble free except for that initial seating of the mag um, i would hit the mag catch or the uh, bolt catch sorry but that thing is small like you can see right there it's very small and it's extremely stiff like i can't push it with my fingers i could smack it with the side of my hand but i did that and i got a bruise in my hand so I saw there's a company that makes an aftermarket one that goes in place of that that's wider. I'm definitely going to be picking that up. Um, other than that though, man, I really like this. Let's see if it, we'll just put this one round back in the mag and just chamber that one. Maybe I'll try the, you know, I'm going to load another round or load another mag and do that again. All right, so I was in touch with the guy from Global Ordinance. I did get on the Facebook page. There's a Strybog Owners group, and I was asking if anybody else had this issue. He uh, messaged me and said that he could look into it, so uh, he did look into it for me and got the ball rolling because it had been about a week or two since I had uh, sent the gun in, hadn't heard anything. But he was cool enough to send me out this really sweet uh, global ordinance t-shirt and some stickers and patches those were really awesome and i really appreciate everything you did and the contact that you were or staying in contact really good 
I believe that one's full. So we'll go ahead and run this one. Like I said, we'll do it from a closed bolt. Put the mag in, seated good. Hmm. Same thing. So, not quite sure what that's about. Let's fire this one and then try that again. All right, we'll just throw that in. All right, did chamber from there. We'll try that again and we'll do a, I'll just keep putting 20, a 24th round in it and we'll keep running the bolt that way. See if maybe you're better off to use 25 rounds instead of 20, or 24 rounds instead of 25, sorry. All right, there's 24 rounds in it. Chambered it just fine, let's do it again. All right, 24 rounds in it. Chambered it just fine. Pull the mag back out. We'll do this a few more times. It's in there. Drop the mag. Yeah, I'll sit here and do this all freaking day just to make sure that <laughs> this is going to run right. So I want to know what's going to run when I need it to run. So I believe this is going to end up being my favorite backpack bag. For the longest time, it was my Scorpion. It still is. I love my Scorpion, but it's just nice to have 45 ECP as opposed to 9 millimeter because that's my opinion. Let's go ahead and try this one last time. Drop the mag. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put 25 in here. See if we have a uh, stoppage again. If that's the case, I wouldn't run your mags over 24. All right. It's in there real good. Slam her down. She's definitely seated. Uh, let's go ahead and try to run this. Pull it against my shoulder nice and tight. That way it's got like the uh, recoil impulse like it would have against a shoulder. And it did uh, cycle it. I'm going to go ahead and run the rest of this mag out we'll see how it does and i'm gonna call this a, a win if it runs this mag we'll call it a day yeah i'm gonna say it's a win for the uh strybog with the global ordinance magazines or the lwrci magazines or even get your hands on some of those uh standard hkump mags i haven't had a chance to try those so i can't vouch for them but uh, as always, man, uh, if you got any questions about this, drop them in the comments. I'll answer them to the best of my knowledge. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe and let's take back our Second Amendment.